Hi YouTube, my name is Alexis O'Connell and today in our physics discussion I'm going to be talking about position, velocity, and acceleration. In this case, um, we're talking about a treasure map that you found and you started out um, at a certain point and you took two, two more steps to get there. And to get to the first step it took you 40 seconds to get there and to get to the second step it took you 30 seconds to get there so the question is asking what was your average velocity going from the start to the finish so we're going to calculate the average velocity from start to finish so um, right now in this graph we're talking about displacement position so the units are going to be in meters so first you start out at negative two three and then you go to the second point right there at um, negative one two and then you move to your third point at three negative one so your displacement from your starting point which is over here to your ending point which is over here is negative 4 in the y direction and you move to positive 5 meters in the x direction in the positive x hat direction so um, in order to find the average velocity we need to know that average velocity equals change in position or change in displacement which is a vector over change in time and it's important to know that um, these units, velocity and displacement, are vector quantities, which means they are going to need to have a direction at the end. So because it asks for average velocity, not average speed, we're going to need to add a um, direction to that. So that little delta means the change, so final minus initial. So change in x minus change um, x final minus x initial and we found that by um, well we know we went negative 4 in the y direction and positive 5 in the x direction so by using the Pythagorean theorem we could say it's square root of a squared plus b squared equals c squared so um, here we go we have 4 negative 4 squared plus 5 squared equals 6.403 so that is our displacement for that, that chart. So we have that displacement in meters and the question gives you the time. So it tells you that for, to get from point 0.1 to point 0.2 it's 40 seconds, point 0.2 to point 0.3 is 30 seconds. So since we're doing average velocity, we need to find the total time it took to get from point A to C, which is to finish, which is 70 seconds. So 6.408 meters divided by 70 seconds, and that gives us 0 0.09 meters per second. Just type that in the calculator. And to find the angle, I chose this angle right here. And to do that, I did opposite over adjacent which is tangent and so inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent is negative 51.34 so that means oh and that's degrees so um that means that if we relocated the origin to the starting point at um, zero zero we would know that it would be negative 51.34 degrees below the x positive x hat direction and there we go we have our little discussion on position velocity and acceleration thank you